Hey guys. Um, well, can you, have you not noticed already? Look at my hair. For one, it's darker, so I have put it up like uh, little clips just to keep the fringe out of my face and so I didn't have to wash it again because my fringe gets really greasy being on my forehead and whatnot. So yeah, my hair is darker. I've dyed it, but not only have I dyed it, it has extensions. I'll just stand up for you one sec. I'm wearing a dress. It's a bit chaotic. Okay. I've curled them. So, um, I, I just think extensions look better curled. And these are really, really curled. I'd like to keep it more wavy because this is just like really, really curly. Um, yeah, they're 18 inches. I'll just hold them down. And they're basically the perfect colour because when I first got them, I bought two colours. I'll show you the other ones so you can see the packaging. Um, yeah, they weren't the right colour. <laughs> and uh, my hair was going a bit yellow, looking a bit false, and I didn't like it at all, so I was going to dye it anyway. And I'll show you the dye I used. I bought two, but I, cause I thought I was going to have to dye the extensions, but I didn't need to. Okay, so these extensions, I'll show you the small amount I have left from like the four foot weft. It's the perfect amount, I think it's 100 grams of hair. I know it's not as much as Foxy Locks extensions, but you don't actually need 160 grams of hair. So this is what it looks like. When I first got it, I thought, oh my god, this is horrific. It looks like old granny hair, but <laughs> it doesn't, as you can see. So it's a really natural blonde colour. And my hair's been dyed so much, has so many different colours in it. I'm surprised it mixes in at all. It looks a bit lighter there, but yeah, well, as you can see, it does mix in. So this is the colour and it's uh, it was on sale which is really lucky, it's from Rapunzel Rapunzel and they're normally about, for the West, about £45 but I found this colour for 25 on the clearance and it's 18 inch West Remy hair, straight and um, golden blonde. So this is the colour, it looks much lighter for some reason but, ooh. but you know you can see here this is what it looks like. So as well. I dyed my hair using Nice and Easy and it's natural dark blonde and this is kind of the natural colour I am because you can see my eyebrows are exactly the same colour basically. So yeah, this is the um, hair dye and I always it, love these hair dyes but I came out and my hair was so much darker than this. Look, it is darker than that and you can see that easily. So it must just be that I dyed my hair so many hundreds of times, especially the ends, they go whatever colour they want. <laughs> So yeah, I'll show you a packaging as well from Rapunzel Rapunzel. I'm sending this one back because obviously it's not the right colour. I didn't really know which one to go with because the photos really aren't helpful at all. So this is Ash Blonde. And for me, when I think of Ash Blonde, I think of, um, it's quite like a dull sort of blonde. There's no like hints of golden or strawberry in it. Um, I think of it as quite a medium blonde. This is platinum. It really is almost platinum. I mean, imagine if I had that on my hair. Oh, I'd hate it. So this is also Remy. And uh, yeah, it looks like this. This is the packaging. And it came uh, next day delivery. And it basically says... So if you're thinking of buying from a, from a pencil or a pencil, do it definitely. The hair is absolutely gorgeous, silky soft. I love it. And there's so much in the weft. Don't buy clip-ons unless you really, really need to because... You can clip them on yourself. I have loads of clips. You can get them from your old extensions, buy some more. It's really easy. They sell everything at Rapunzel Rapunzel. It says brush daily with a wide tooth comb. Um, use frequent use shampoo. You can use styling products such as hairsprays, mousse and gel, but do not apply serums, oils or waxes. I accidentally put some serum in it, um, but it was like a tiny, tiny amount. Um, with clip-ons, make sure you take them out at night. And with pre-bonds, do not allow blow dry or apply heat over areas where adhesives are applied. This isn't pre-bonded, so I wouldn't worry about that. That's when it, you know, it's, I'm not really sure. I think it's the little bits that you can stick in, but it's already got glue on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it's so exciting having hair extensions. I'll just kind of take them out and show you. They're lovely and thick. Let me just move this away. And they look like this. Really thick. They start to taper at the end. You can see that's really, really thick. It starts to taper at about here, so right at the end. And these are much um, 
there's more at the bottom of these than there were in mine because these were quite wavy in the packet which worried me a little bit but that's fine so they're lovely and thick extensions very soft very good quality so i recommend them highly the only thing is if you're a blonde the colors are ridiculous it's only because i've dyed my hair as well that it fits in and you're probably wondering how are my extensions in right now well tug them all you like i've glued these in and I know you're all going to be like, oh no, you shouldn't do that, it's so bad for your hair. And yes, I know, it's bad for you, whatever, whatever, whatever. So long as you look after your hair. I mean, clippings are bad for you. Put them in every day, they're going to tug your hairs out, strand by strand. I've used them. And I know glue-ins, you know, they're probably not that great for you, but, you know, I've done it really well, actually. I've did it, I did it very precisely. I haven't got glue everywhere. Okay, so all you need if you want to glue in your hair extensions, and I'll do a tutorial next time, it's just this time I, you know, it's new for me as well. I'd seen lots of videos, so. Um, basically, it really isn't that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it. You just have to be very precise. So you can get a tail, um, is it called like a rat tail comb or something? I don't know. So it's, this is, or you can just use your nails, you know, if you've got long nails. You just need straight, sharp lines. You can't have it all zigzaggy because they're going to stay in for weeks until you take them out. And you need it to be perfect so that they stay in for the longest time possible and they keep your hair safe and okay. You need some clips like these hair, hair dresser clips or just tie your hair up or whatever. And then you also need glue. So I bought this from Rapunzel Rapunzel. It was 10 99 for these two. So this is the messiest stuff ever. Um, it's called liquid gold. And this is as much as I used in one application. So it's just like the stringiest, most elastic stuff ever. I can't even get it open now, but I'll never get it open again. Can you see all this stuff? It's just like string, stringy stuff. Can you see that? I'm pulling it. Oh yeah. That's what it's like when it goes everywhere and it doesn't just pick up and go to the hair extension. It picks up and there's a trail following from where you take the brush. I can't get it open. Ah! Well, I'll use like something hot to get it open next time. But for 10.99, get that and you also get the remover. So this is very liquidy. And I'm not really sure what you do with this. So you just put it onto a piece of cotton and apply to the area that needs removing. You're meant to kind of wait until it loosens as well. And that's how easy it is. So I'm just going to lift up my hair on a weft. I've done lots and lots of little wefts with about this much space all down the back and then the highest one, I can show you this one actually can't I? It's just here and I've done it so that I can still put my hair up like this and no one can see it. This is quite a short weft. I think the longest I got to was 12 inches of weft. See? It looks really tidy. I'm actually quite proud of myself how well I did this. So that's what it looks like all the way around and I have some going all the way, um, all the way down to, I'll show you my lowest one. I don't want it, I've done it so I can still put my hair up and you won't see it, but it's still very low. Oh, I can't really show you actually because my hair's all curled. Well, it's literally just here. Oh my god. What's going on, Britain? It's so hot. It's probably all this hair and oh god. 100 grams more hair on my head. <laughs> so yeah, this is my experience with Rapunzel Rapunzel. Their hair extensions are lovely. Comes um, next day delivery is £3.50, I think. So £3.50 and so easy to put in, the glue was great, and um, the colouring is a bit tricky, so if I were you, I'd, or I'd order a couple, and you can return within 14 days, which is what I'm going to do, because as you can see, these are resellable, and maybe you will get this pack that I've just been showing you. God, that would be weird, maybe I should put a little note in it. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon, bye.